Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you my review of another product from Cotton Carrier. This is called the Scout. Now, I have reviewed a couple of Cotton Carrier products before, including their main harness system along with the holster to go with it. I've also used their kind of quick shot, more of a, uh, a side holster. And in this case, if uh, you know, when I've used the Cotton Carrier main harness system for shooting weddings, often to carry a couple of cameras, and so I distribute the weight of, you know, maybe a camera with a 7 to 200 f 2.8 zoom it's going to be heavy i'm using it for shooting for hours and hours being able to keep that weight distributed across my chest uh, really helps to eliminate some of the fatigue of a long day like that when i put that harness on though a lot of people you know they think i'm putting on some kind of tactical vest or um, bulletproof vest and in many ways the uh, the strap shot was you know like a side holster but we'll call this con continuing their kind of military theme this is most like a shoulder holster here and that allows you to carry kind of off-centered on your chest to carry a camera for hiking or for out moving around to where it is very quick and easily accessible but also it distributes the weight in a nice ergonomic fashion to where you're not going to feel fatigue and it really does things do ride ride well in the system so the Scout comes with a few accessories, which include a rain hood here. There's also a safety strap that you can attach if you don't kind of uh, trust either your hands or you just want a little extra security. You can mount that on the other side to your camera strap and that way you can make sure that you don't inadvertently drop it or if you think that maybe it's not going to hold. Anyway, they uh, kind of got you covered on that front. Now, I do believe that there is a practical limit to what size of gear I would carry in this kind of system. You know, obviously, if you're out hiking and because the weight is distributed off to one side, if you get a lens that's too long in your ordinary stride, you're going to be hitting against that lens or the lens hood. And so I don't think that this is a system where I would use something like a super telephoto. I think the weight distributes better using their, um, you know, their, their harness system for that. And the way that it is able to kind of dangle down is less interfering then this would be in its stride but here for example I've got the Canon uh, 24 to 105 f4 LIS and so even when it's fully extended it's sitting at about my belt length which is an acceptable distance and doesn't tie up anything anything too much larger than that though and I think that you might run into some ergonomic issues in traveling now uh, where this this succeeds is that it does you know really fulfill its purpose of giving you quick access to your camera i do like this kind of carry position and I also like the fact that whereas I reviewed some things like a, uh, a peak, de peak design capture clip, and I like that as well, but of course that only works if you're wearing a backpack, something to distribute the weight. I also feel like this, because of its design, allows you to carry a heavier piece of equipment uh, without it starting to slip down. And so it does really fulfill that primary purpose. And if you're not wanting to carry a whole backpack, you just want to carry a camera, maybe you're in a city or something like that, it does give you a really convenient way to do that to where you can get at the camera quickly. I also find that the weight that the weight is distributed with the padded over the shoulder, uh, it's also padded here where it sits against your chest. And then of course, having this strap where the weight distributes out means that it is very comfortable to wear for an extended period of time, even if you're carrying a heavier, you know, full frame setup like what I have here. There are some limitations, however, to the system, and uh, my chief one I'll demonstrate here. My single greatest criticism of all cotton carrier products comes down to this right here, and that is their hub system. As you can see, first of all, it's designed in such a way to where there are three separate pieces that need to be assembled before it's attached to the camera. And so you take the uh, plastic hub, you need to attach the uh, rubber kind of backing that you know helps there to be a a little bit more of a barrier between it and your camera, but then you also have to take the included bolt and you have to shove that through that and then attach it by the use of an Allen key. So obviously, number one, this is not a toolless system. It does require the use of this tool, but it also is, uh, basically there's four separate components that need to be on hand for you to attach or to detach it. And so as a byproduct, it is not a you know, it's just not as an elegant a solution as what I see from some competitors. On top of that, uh, 
you know, it's never going to allow your camera to sit flat. And so you're probably not going to want to keep it on there all the time, which means that you are, you know, attaching it and removing it as often as you need to use it. It is not Arca Swiss compatible. And so unlike some systems that I, I use a lot of Peak Design products, one thing I really appreciate about Peak Design is that their products tend to be number one, swappable with other products uh, in their lineup, but also they're Arca compatible and it's nice and flat. And so I keep it on there all the time. I just really can't do that with this. And so while I do like the carrier system, it has to be something where you're really intending to go out for a while and willing to take the time to put this on and to you know risk if you're changing this in the field, the you know very real potential of dropping that bolt and not having access to it anymore. And so you know this is probably my chief criticism of all cotton carrier products and unfortunately it applies to the Scout as well. So that connection system is something that I would still like Cotton Carrier to put more engineering into and to come back with something that, you know, allows you that same kind of freedom, but maybe is more of a one piece item, more of a toolless type setup to where they could integrate maybe into, you know, having a little solid dial where you could rotate that to tighten down. Some other system I think would be more effective for that. And I'd also like to see it in that process, maybe get a little bit more miniaturized to where it is less obstructive when the camera is sitting on something else. If they could somehow design it to make it Arca Swiss compatible as well, that would be the icing on the cake. At the end of the day, however, this is reasonably priced. It's going to run you somewhere around 80 US dollars. And for, um, you know, equivalent systems, I think are going to cost you more than that. In many ways, this is more practical if you're going to hike or, you know, do something active, more practical than carrying a strap of some time. Uh, I could still be out on my bicycle, for example, doing this. There's other things that I could be doing and still have this mounted here in a secure fashion. And so I think it excels at that point. And for the price point, it is well worth considering. Just just so long as you're aware of what I perceive to be the limitations. At the end of the day, however, this is a system that works, and so it's worth checking out. I'm Dustin Abbott. If you look in the description down below, you can find linkage uh, there to some buying links, also a place to follow myself or Craig on social media. Check out our sister channel, Let the Light in TV. Uh, you can also become a patron, purchase channel merchandise, and of course, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and let the light in. <music>